morning everybody, my name is Joe, and I'm here to show you an application I wrote called TileEdit. Um, it's a simple Java application that should run on just about any platform. Uh, execution is the standard java-jar tile editor. And the first thing you'll notice is that this is full of nothing. So let's go ahead and create a new tile set. Um, I'd say 32 by 32 is pretty standard fare. And then there's this field uh, workspace, uh, workspace width and tiles. Uh, your workspace is the number of tiles with which you can interact at any given moment. It is not your tile set size. Your tile set is arbitrary. It's simply um, the grid on which you can draw, basically. And I'd say 7 by 7 should be pretty generous for what we're doing. And I'm just going to make a very, very simple cave scene. So I'll start with a, a brush, something in this color. That should be all right. Just draw, fill this with red. I'm going to leave a little black corner so I can tell where I am, and I'll fill that in later. And then I'm going to duplicate this tile and fill it a little more. Um, actually, I think I'm going to create a couple of new tiles. You'll see right there, and just place these in a grid fashion around my workspace. Do, 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 do. So I'm making a box shape, as I think you can tell, and that's just going to define uh, the sides of my cave interior. And that might not be terribly clear to you, but I'll show you in just a second. So fill in the rest of this. Now I'm going to define just kind of this craggy little sidewall. And you'll notice if I draw on one tile, all the rest of them fill in with the same sort of pattern. And I'm going to do the same over here add a little bit of a cliff kind of hang there come across the top fill in that make a little sort of space on the bottom go across it looks kind of like I'm drawing goatsy and then I'm going to just clean up a little bit I'm going to go back to maybe a black color and carve out a little chunk up here on top Alrighty, and I'm going to define an inner space, kind of like this. And I want to go back here and just clear out that piece I took. So, you see that um, this kind of defines the internals of what might look like a cave if you're as bad an artist as I am. Um, I'm going to, actually I think I'll detail this a little bit more with... Um, I'll stick with black just because it's a little bit easier. And you'll notice as I draw chunks and pull out pieces, it's tiled across, uh, tiled uniformly throughout the rest of the environment. And this is because one of the things I noticed when building tile sets for sprite games is it's kind of uh, tricky if you're working on single tile items to really um, see how your tiles will work together as a whole unless you actually go through the trouble of loading your application or whatever game you're writing and refreshing it every so often to make sure the tiles are drawing correctly but that's a pain in the butt so this is an effort to sort of simplify that and uh, make it a little bit more intuitive to draw tiles it also gives me the option of um, or I also hope to open up the source that so that people will be able to extend it and maybe add animation support in the near future but at this point it's just kind of a very simple uh, I don't want to say minimalist but uh, kind of convenient tile editing system that supports all the things you kind of need like you know re resizing tiles changing your workspace um, you can adjust flow sizing and opacity but I'm not going to do that in this example I'm just going to show off sort of the basic interface and uh, towards that end I think I will grab my brush tool again and I'm going to make this black and I'm going to add a little hole in the bottom here so that we can have kind of a, a concave curve and I'm just going to right click here so you can see I'm placing that tile and I will right click here then I'm going to reuse the wall on this part so just select right click grab my reddish color right like that right like that so now you see uh, it's updated over here and we can build interior walls get rid of that voila 
we select something a little bit, um, I'm going to use a smaller brush, or I'll use my pencil tool, and pick kind of a darker brownish color. I um, can make scratches inside the walls down here. Yeah, I'm not a professional artist, but uh, your results may vary. Alrighty, and now we have a beautiful image of the uh, descending colon, but I digress. Um, so let's take this example and say that, um, oops, I duplicated a tile and I screwed that up. Uh, it's just as easy to erase a tile. Uh, if you felt the compulsion to clear all this, you can select the tile you want and fill the entire scene with that and then redraw your layout however you saw fit. So make it a little bit taller and then travel over a smidge over a little bit more, and then down again, and then draw it out like this. And I'm going to add another piece so that we have this concavity here, and add a roof piece. Select kind of this color. I think I matched it up. I need to add the eyedropper tool, which I hope to do tonight or tomorrow morning. There we go. And you'll see that propagates there, and then you can just fill in the rest. Like this. And down. So, voila. Oh, and of course the most important part, uh, being able to save and load your tile set. So, this, as near as I can tell, supports uh, most of the formats that ImageIO for Java supports. So that'll be PNG, Bitmap, um, I believe it supports TGA, but I haven't experimented with those. The, my, the primary focus right now is just uh, PNG support because I think that's fairly ubiquitous and easy to convert. So I'll just call this a uh, generic tile set example. Tile set example, a PNG, and it'll automatically parse out PNG and save it as that file type. Uh, currently, it will linearize your tile set so it'll take whatever's present up there and then smoosh it down and uh, make it just kind of a, a straight line of tiles as you can see here but hopefully uh, I'll be able to add uh, saving it as a square or saving it with different dimensions in the near future or maybe even you know just saving your visible workspace but at this point um, it's done enough to be usable and I'm going to release the source code to everybody today along with compiled binary for those of you that don't care to fiddle with that sort of thing. So, thanks much. Um, have a good one.